There seems to be a little bit of confusion around building clouds and how we actually price those. We're entering into a new term called virtual CPUs, virtual RAM, storage, things of that nature, all associated with cloud. So it's important that we understand the differences. Let's look at the physical server itself. What we have in our legacy environments today, it's made up of CPUs, RAM, storage, and some form of connectivity. This is what we refer to as a physical server. It runs in our legacy environment. We're going to talk about an example here in just a moment. But now let's kind of draw out what cloud brings to us. And some of those different lexicon that is used with cloud versus physical server. So let's go ahead and draw in here cloud. And let's uh, go ahead and move that up next to our physical server so we can have an example at the bottom of the page. And so what do we refer to as CPU and cloud? We call it virtual CPU. What do we refer to as RAM in a cloud environment? We call it virtual RAM. Why are we calling these things virtual? You can watch as I type here and I talk at the same time. Because they are virtual shared resources within the cloud environment. So you purchase a set amount of quantity. Let's say that you need 100 CPUs to satisfy your current physical environment. Great, you buy those. And then you slice them up. They go into the virtual machines themselves. So let's use this example. Physical server for email requires today four CPUs, 128 gigs of RAM, and a terabyte of disk storage, right? That is the standard for the physical machine. In a cloud environment, that would be called a virtual machine. It's called a virtual machine because the resources are from a shared pool or a virtual pool. So let's go ahead and draw this up for email as an example. Same example for the physical machine. The virtual machine would be called for virtual CPU, 120 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of storage. That means that the physical machine is equal to the virtual machine in this example. Same terminology, different lexicon, same meaning, right? So when we calculate out a virtual machine, it could be a varied amount of CPUs, RAM, and storage, hence it all goes and is hosted through a cloud infrastructure.